お疲れ様です。ゆきてぃです。Today I'm gonna talk about structure of Japanese sentence.If you can read hiragana and katakana, you'll have a better understanding.Let's get started.You may have seen the expression that Japanese world order is SOV, but I think not.This is because verbs are not essential in Japanese sentences.Only predicates are required. With modifiers and modalities added as needed. So, it is natural to omit as much as possible what is obvious from the context or situation. For instance, when two people are talking, the words you and I are not used except for emphasis. Modifier is used with another word or phrase to limit or add to its meaning. Predicate is the part of a sentence that contains the verb, adjective, or noun in Japanese and gives information. Modality is about the speaker's attitude towards the world or listeners. For instance, Mikasa ga Eren ni pan o tabe sase te iru yoda. Mikasa ga Eren ni and Pan or、uh, modifiers. Tabe sase te iru is predicate. Yoda is modality. From this slide, I'll explain about modifiers. A modifier consists of a noun or noun phrase plus a case particle. For instance, mikasa ga ga is case particle, work as a subject marker. Eren ni ni is case particle. パンオオ is case particle. The case particles have the following main meanings. が subject of state or action among other things. オ object of action. に destination time. で location method. と together quotation. え direction recipient. から Starting point, cause. より sender, comparison. まで limit of time or place. The meaning does not change even if the modifiers are interchanged. Usually, you put the word in the order you want to emphasize them. For instance, Mikasa ga Eren ni pan o tabe sase te iru yoda is most natural. ミカサがパンをエレンに食べさせているようだ。It's natural. パン is a little emphasized. エレンにミカサがパンを食べさせているようだ。It's natural. エレン is emphasized. パンをミカサがエレンに食べさせているようだ。It's a little uncomfortable. パン is emphasized. In this slide, I'll explain about the topic. A topic consists of a noun or a noun phrase plus an adverbial particle. For instance, Mikasa wa Eren ni pan o tabe sase te iru yo da. Mikasa wa, wa is adverbial particle, works as topic marker. This sentence is also natural for native speakers. So, in this case, ga can be changed with wa. To make it easier to understand the nuance, if it were forced to be translated directly, it would be something like this. As for Mikasa, it looks like she is feeding bread to Eren. The adverbial particles have the following main meanings wa. Topic, contrast, among other things. Nara, contrast, correlation, among other things. In this slide, I'll explain about predicate. Only verbs, e adjectives, na adjectives, and nouns can be predicates. So, verbs are not essential in Japanese. For instance, Armin ga aruiteiru. Armin is walking. 
歩いている is verb 歩く the form present progressive あるみんは賢い賢い is e adjective あるみん is clever あるみんは友達だ友達 is now あるみん is my friend あるみんは優しくて静かな人ですね優しくて is e adjective 優しい t h e f o r m 静かな is n o adjective 人 noun アーミン is a kind and quiet person Japanese does not distinguish between singular and plural forms from this slide I'll explain about modality auxiliary verbs and sentence ending particles can be modality Modality represents the speaker's feelings and thoughts about the matter and his or her intentions toward the listener. For instance, Mikasa ga Eren ni pan o tabe sase te iru Yoda. Yoda is auxiliary verb, works as conjecture modality. Yoda means look like, seems to be. Armin wa yasashiku te shizuka na hito desu ne. This is auxiliary verb, works as assertion polite modality. Ne is ending particle, works as empathy modality. This slide introduces auxiliary verbs and sentence ending particles. The assertion. This must assertion plus politeness. らしい、ようだ、みたいだ、そうだ。Conjecture, hearsay. だろうでしょう。Non-conclusion, guess. はずだ、違いない。Confidence. のだ、わけだ。Description. べきだ。なければならない。なければいけない。Necessary, duty. か、かな、かしら。Question, wondering. よ、ぞ、ぜ、さ、は。Notification, informative. ね、よね、asking for consent, empathy. な、な、admire. Modalities are used a lot, especially in everyday conversation like this. 今日めっちゃ寒いね。そうだね。明日はあったかいかな。わからん。The first ne is an empathy modality. This is meant to encourage the listener to agree. The second ne is also an empathy modality. This implies agreement. This kana is a wondering modality. This can be a question or a soliloquy. Today you've learned the structure of Japanese sentence. I'm going to continue to make explanatory videos about Japanese in the future. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like. Thanks for watching.